Right. Strange one, that. Working on Twitch, not working on YouTube. Didn't check Facebook, for God's sake. I mean, God knows what's going on there. Um, but that's what we're doing. So we're back. But thanks for letting me know. I could have gone on for three hours there on a blank screen and wondering, nobody loves me anymore. Nobody wants to watch my stream. Um, what are we doing? We're off towards Don's inheritance. And what we're doing is we're just um, doing the boring stuff while I'm waiting for the python to come round uh, and get delivered to Sios, Brunel Hub. And then I'm gonna do some passenger missions. So it does add to your exploration rank, and that's what it's all about, really. It's, it's about getting that rank. Now, this account here, right, this is my other account on Steam, which I've called myself Commander, Commander Ricardo, um, which I shouldn't have done, really. She just called himself Ricardo. But these are the things. You don't do it often enough and start a new commander to realise about this. No fleet carrier in this part of the game. And it's very early on. You can see I've only got 6.7 million credits. 6.7 million credits. Yeah, and with the right ship, you're right there, Techno Viking. You can get yourself. You can get yourself um, some decent money with the right ship. Now, my Python is en route, right? And it'll be with us soon, so don't worry about that. I'm doing some cheesy old passenger mission not passenger missions um data missions to get some good money and it's probably quite quite interesting to note about all this is that those missions the old data missions when you're starting off in the game not only do they give you reputation and influence and a decent bit of money for you know you're right they are absolutely filled to the brim of carriers look at this uh, what they also do, um, you know, it's good for getting your rank increased as well. Look at this. So here we are. We, I am in, where am I? So this, I think I'm in. Um, look at all these carriers. Look at them they're everywhere. None of them are mine, right? Just so we're clear on that. None of them are mine. Now, my Python is fitted out with economy cabins. Fair enough. You can make a bit more money in regards to, you know, getting some business and first class cabins in there. I haven't done it that way. Yeah, a lot of people do beluga. So that's um, good old large landing pads. So you're doing it between Seos and so this and so this and Seos. Well, as I said, I'm quite early on in the game. I haven't got the money. I'd have to sell all my ships and for me, the Python is the quintessential ship for this. I reckon, anyway. So, old Don's inheritance. Right? Don's inheritance. Let's get ourselves over there. So I'm a DBX Explorer, you may notice. I know, I said I'd never fly them, so I'm giving it a go. Uh, the ship is up to 46.66 light years. Still got more engineering to go on that, but it's all about the money for this at the moment. All about the money, that's where I'm at. So like I say, this is my Steam account and not my main account. So my hope is, is to build a little bit of reputation, get some money, um, and then head off out into the black, ready for Odyssey and all that first footfall stuff when it finally hits. It won't be when the alpha hits. I mean, it'll be basically when the, the proper game comes down. So let's get in, land, do the missions, and we're away. So who watched the rugby? England lost against Scotland. Bit of a shock. Um, and then Wales won against Ireland. 
But in all fairness to the Irish, they didn't have a full team on the pitch. There was people going off with head, in head um, injury scans and God knows whatever else. Yes, we are down, everybody. Starport services. And yes, I'm playing in open. Dun, dun, dun. Um, how long that will last, I don't know. Deliver. Deliver all these sensitive data missions. Because I need many as well, see? Lots of it. I'll say sensitive data here, yeah, deliver that. Right, so what have we got so far? Um, where else do I go? So this mining, that's where we're off next. Now, in regards to the shipyard and what's going on, my ship transfer, uh, I've got 27 minutes before that comes in to see us. Not ideal, I know, right? Um, these are the ships I've kind of got. All starter ships. Um, got my Diamondback Explorer. Um, which, to be fair, I don't know why I got two of those. But I have. So, do you know what? I think um, we'll sell that. Because I've already got one. I've got one with me. Um, Asp Explorer, I do like an Asp Explorer. And I've got my Python, the old Frosty Badger. Yes, folks, that's coming down. That'll be with me in 26 minutes. And that's when it all, it'll all start kicking off. But, and here's the big but. Um, in regards to the shipyards here as well, you can get things like dolphins and belugas and what have you at other stations. This one's quite limited. So sort of like the starting five ships. Don's inheritance. Bit of a shame. Um, mission board. Let's uh, start packing all these these missions in. Not too fussed about doing things like delivery missions. Although you can, you know, increase your trade rank with all of those. For me, it's all about doing... Um, the info missions to make sure that reputation goes up as well. So what's this? 133,000 there. Just know people are going to come after you for that. Let's launch and get out of here. Ah, Steve, so you're in Rubigo as well. Oh, vulture in a vulture. So what's the rebuy on this? Even know to be perfectly honest, five hundred thousand. Yeah, I'm in live. I know. Taking my uh, life in my own hands, you and I. Not that the DBX can do much about it. But I have got some burst lasers. Ooh, I hear you say. He's got burst lasers on a DBX. I know. I might as well just have. Um, BB guns attached to it. Utterly rubbish. Just do some scanning. Lots of NPCs in, in the area. Let's just see how it goes. So 
so we are eating down the minutes by doing this. Um, now, who can tell me, in the three systems, the land-based system that sells passenger cabins, business class passenger cabins. I think it's somewhere on somewhere in Sios. It does kind of make you appreciate my other account where I've got better ships, but um, this one's not so bad. I don't know what it is about the DBX. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Raptor off Battlestar Galactica. I don't know what it is. Obviously, the, the cockpit, right? Um, you know. I was doing some mining this morning, trying to finish off some mining. Um... And that was boring. So I thought, why not top off the entire boredom this weekend um, and do some passenger missions as well when it turns up. That's what I thought I'd do. Okay, into so this mining. Just around the other side of the planet, so we're gonna ease ourselves around there. Sirius Shark, thanks for following. So we are live on Twitch, YouTube, because YouTube was giving me a little bit of trouble earlier on, and thanks to those people who post, posted that um, in the chat, and Facebook. I'm also trying out Steam as well, and like I was saying yesterday in yesterday's stream, who knew? I didn't know Steam did it was a streaming service as well. So Babbage in Cios, Brunel Herb on Cios. Good stuff, because we've got the Python coming to Brunel Herb anyway. So that is good stuff. So we're 29 minutes odd. Um, we'll hit that up. Make some purchases. And we can discuss the loadout as well in the, in the chat. People have got different loadouts for this. I think originally I went with all, and what I've got now is all <coughs> Um, economy cabins but I have seen some commanders who have got one or two business class cabins in their python and as we discussed before the python's a great multi superiority role craft really oh someone's going to boil me up are they or are they really well in a python picking on me Gotta catch me first, mate. This thing's fast. Faster than your pipe. I've heard it's still a mess on a PS4. I mean, the kids have got it on on the Xbox. Let's deliver this lot. Go for the oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, flawed focus crystals. We haven't got virtually any materials on this. Um, we are transporting infamic. We are 
information transporters is what we are. Don't particularly want to go down to no planets. That's a right pain. Next up on our rip roaring trip <laughs> around here, back to Seos. Yeah, do you know what? I've, I've never regretted sort of playing this on the PC as my main my main sort of platform. Um, some of the problems the consoles have, especially the PS4, have been absolutely atrocious. Look at that lovely whatever it is. <laughs> oh dear. Let's make me laugh. Right, see us it is. Let's go, go, go. Respect to at least, ooh, nearly at 10 million now, boys and girls. Look at that. Woo! It's the big bucks now. Yeah, that might be a good shout. You know, one first class, three business class, and the rest economy. Right, where are we going first then? I should plug my Oculus Rift into. Not Rift. My Oculus Quest. Look at Babbage first. I've got a Python coming. I'm going to be using that, Steve, for my passenger ship. Because I like a little bit of bang for my buck. Type 9 heavies coming in. Look, a couple of, couple of other commanders. An anaconda there, look. But I'm so low down, I can't be worth anything. So we are banging on all the way to Babbage. Get that one done first. When you fly the smaller ships, you just don't realize how sort of like nimble they are. I mean, this is a DBX for God's sake, right? Um, You know, you forget even with the fighters how nimble the fighters and fast the fighters are. Joshua, miss playing Elite Dangerous. Jump back in. Exciting times in the game, just before Odyssey. Gateway. Let's get round the other side of the planet. Babbage. I'm gonna be better off doing this in a cobra, just for the, just for the um, nostalgia of it all. Res hunting. Ah, I see. Uh, 
but I'm in no position to do combat in the ships that I've got. And of course, the Federal Corvette. Well, yeah, with people saying, Steve Static, how's it going? <laughs> How goes the inebriation? Well, strange to say that. Today's beer of choice was a Belgian um, wheat beer um, called Blue Moon. Reports of heavy traffic within the area. Maintain Add a couple of those. I just, you know, the rugby was a little bit flat, I thought, you know, today, because... No crowd. I mean, even though there was people in. What's going on here? I thought I'd come on, let's get in. Um, no crowd, obviously, because of COVID. Where are we going? 28. Um, even though Wales won, so a good result. But, you know, it just felt a little bit flat. Even though they piped in the, the, the sounds from the crowd. There must have been someone there with a stream deck putting all the oohs and the ahs in. So yeah, it's really weird. Contact yeah, I do get them once. They're bloody expensive. It's like, hey, it's in like six pound. I had them, I had them for Christmas. It was like six pound for four little cans. And then the missus goes, oh, I like that. Well, yeah, well, you can drink your own then, can't you? So it's all about the many. That's us. We're already allied. I'm not giving no money to anybody. We all want landmines and God knows whatever else. But look at all this data. I mean, many to be made. Many to be made. Is it good for ranking up Fed? Don't know. Probably. Always good doing the information missions to get your rank on the go. Where Where is my rank? Where am I? Oh, status. Look at that. I am allied with the Fed. Uh, what we got? Superpowers. There you go. I'm a lieutenant. I can't even go buying the big ships yet. I'm that rubbish. This is another account, like like I was saying. So lots of missions I can do. Um, let's just see how many minutes I've got left. Ten minutes left. So I get myself back to... Um, Brunel hub in this system. Next up on our list. We'll hit up New Dawn Station and then finish up at Brunel. Just so we're not hanging about. Come on, come on. Jump. Inhibitors. I think, you know, the passenger missions, it's a valid form of money making now, isn't it? It's definitely the grind. Right? But is it less of a grind than what mining is?
Oh, good stuff. A, te a Type 10, eh? With Guardian boosters. Mm. Yeah, unfortunately on the consoles, you can't change the colours of the UI. And it looks like, as well, with Odyssey, you won't be able to do that either. You'd think they would have factored that in. Um, the orange is so boring. I mean, the colours I've got here, I, I quite like them. Yeah, Steve, you're right there. I think you've got it. The passenger missions are boring. Necessary evil, though, I think. Especially when you're starting out in the game to get some many quick. So you can buy yourself a decent ship or a couple of decent ships that can um, sort of help you out, like... So here we go, we're coming up on New Dawn Station. Yeah, you know, well, that's probably why it's a good job doing it whilst doing a stream. Now the stream is working. Um, <laughs> which it wasn't earlier on. So, um... Something to keep you occupied, isn't it? Because it is damn boring. You're right as well, Ace. Absolutely right. I mean, looking for cause. And we all know what it's like for me mining. I mean, I get seriously ba serious bad luck. So... This could be the new way forward. Yeah, I've had this knocking off for about a year or so. I think I've had this one going. Haven't done much with it. But I thought, well, while the other commander that I've got, that we were using yesterday, um, is in the Ebor system, you know, in, that, in the hot spots doing the bromolite mining for the community go, I thought I'd do this. Yeah, Dav's Hope, that's another good, boring old grind, but necessary if you want all those nice, was it grade five material, isn't it? You can get there. Yes, folks, New Dawn Station. Let me in, New Dawn Station. this clump Commander Ross look at that novice and he's in a crate phantom <laughs> dear dear what's he doing let's hope he's not going to be a belly There it is, and lucky for some, pad number 13, everybody. Or perhaps he's just going to hit and hit everybody as they're coming out. Perhaps he's one of them, you never know. So I'm following my own advice here. Blockages at the FSD engineer system. No idea. No idea. Um, how many minutes we got left on this now? Three minutes. 
Let's get ourselves over to Brunel. Let's hope matey peeps is not going to be a knob and shoot me as I come out of the docking thing. Okay, we got an explorer there. Type six there. He's he's in. Oh, now that was ridiculous, wasn't it? Oh, the humiliation and in open. Caution! Don't go crashing into the docking ring. Yeah, well, decate, right? That's because the Thargoids have turned up and players have gone, oh, let's go and do some do some stuff with the Thargoids. So people are being ganked out there, aren't they? That's what that's about. So once we've got the python, and once I've got the um, the right passenger modules fitted, off to Rabigo Mines, I think. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? I mean, I've got to get a bit more money before I get back into it. I mean, I, this this thing is. 500,000 rebuy cost like I said but um with this yeah you, you might as well just throw balls of paper crunched up paper at people so you got burst lasers on it yeah, here we go Yeah, I didn't mean to go into open either. <laughs> but um, it's quite invigorating. Ooh, we're playing as it meant to be played. Ooh, yeah. All right, Steve, catch you later. Have a good one. Have a nice Sunday evening. Okay, here we are. Good old Brunel hub. The python should just be about getting in. Let me in. Brunel Hub. Quite a few commanders in system. The bigger ships, obviously.
Right then. Let's drop all this rubbish off. So this mining. Shipyard. There's my stored ship. That's what we want. Storage options. Let's use this. Behold the Python. It's all it's multi-role superiority glory right outfitting here we go so optional internals you can see i've got my shield generator because you've got to have shields in this game um the old refinery not so much right you transfer we're going to store that Prospector limpets again, store it up. Don't really need a detailed surface scanner, do I, for this mission? Um, right, so No, I need a car. I need. I do need a cargo rack. I'll keep that one, right, for whatever they're gonna give me. Um. Right. So, people in the chat, passenger cabins, business class. So we'll have two of them. And then the rest I'm going to fill with economy. Yeah, exactly. Techno Viking. Oh, a fiver. Oh, mate, thank you so much. Loving your work. Thank you for your donation. Um, I'm just wondering whether we should get perhaps a store that fuel scoop um, and get a we'd be there all day with that, wouldn't we? Um, have I got that I can get down here another fuel scoop? So I haven't quite got the. We'll use that just in case I need it for this for this first run. Um, and then we'll just pop in. Is it passenger cabins? I put a I put one small business class in there because there's always going to be someone who does, you know, is this one person who wants to do it? Um, I think that's what we'll do. We'll see how that goes. When I say we'll see how it goes, we'll, just, we'll basically just see how what goes on. So utility mounts. What have I got? Um, yeah, well, I don't need half of that. Don't need that. Do I just get that stored out? Um, got me shield booster, frame shift, wake scanner. Um, store that. 
hard points. Don't remember. For the mining, we don't need that, do we? And the abrasion blast, we won't be needing that. And see, we won't need that seismic charge launcher. Um, blah, 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 blah. Right, so, um, browse that shop. I want to be able to defend myself, right? Everyone wants to be able to defend themselves. What shall I use? So it's going to have to be, there's not much here really, is there? Um, you got me beam lasers. So I will transfer that. I'll swap that to the top point. So at least we're coordinated. Is it going to do anything? There you go. There we go. So we got two beams at the top. We got one on the bottom. So... We're okay for the time being, I think. Do I want to go putting anything in a bit fruity? Yeah, I mean, we got multi cannons here. No, oh yes we have. Not good multi cannons though, are they? Hmm. They're not good multi cannons. What have I got? What have I got in my in my storage? Not much. And they're going to take an hour to come down, truck. No problems there. Um, oh, I've got a first-class passenger cab in there. Look, look at that. Anyway, right. Enough of all this rubbish. What have we got? Core internal. Yeah, light, 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 light. We'll have a look at see what that's got now. Life support, fuel tank, sensors. Yeah, great, lovely. Right. Uh, remote workshop. FSD. We got level three. Have we got enough of that? No, because we haven't got eccentric hyperspace trajectories. There's a good reason for that, because we haven't scanned anybody. Right. Let's go for it, shall we? Um, mission board. Let's do Brunel Hub to somebody. What have we got? <clears throat> right. Okay. Cirrus atmospherics. We want we want the most expensive ones. So there's one there. Three there. See, they're all quite cheap at the moment. Let's get it done. Let's let's get started and let's get it done. Right. Um, we can get them in, pick a cabin, pick a cabin, any cabin. See, I told you that's what would happen. Let's see if we can get a bit more money. Pick a cabin, any cabin. That one, I'll have that one, because it's more money anyway. Oh. Do you just hate it when it happens? Let's try that again. Right. Pick a cabin, any cabin. That one. Accept. Oh, it's one of those days today, isn't it? Third time to charm. Oh, we got him in. They're 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 in. Brilliant. Uh, what about this lot? Pick a cabin. What 
what, what was he? 1.2. Not a lot. It's 1.2 as well. Pick a cabin. Pretty much the same. Um, this is where we just... Uh, look at that. Look. Look at all that wasted space. I'm not taking them. That'll do start off with and then we'll go somewhere else. Right? No worries. Got an illegal passenger. Modules. Fire groups. Got me beam lasers. Let's see if we can do this nice and quiet like. got a bigger ship than me. <laughs> I don't want to go. Yeah, he's a novice. How can you have a novice and, and have an anaconda? That's where we're going. So this. Let's go, go, go gadget arms. Okay, passenger missions. Hmm. I think you've got a good about five billion credits worth there. It's hardly worth it. That's why I think Rubigo is better. Serious atmospherics, that's where we're going to. Don't need that. Oh, can take that out, really. So, doing a bit of scanning while I'm doing in system, nothing else to do, really, is it? There's the fuzz. Is he going to pull us out? So these, these tourist beacons, I hope they get a little bit of work as well um, in the Odyssey game because it's quite uninspiring because, you know, you drop in, there's a couple of belugas and dolphins mincing about um, and there's a planet to look at in there and it's just a beacon to scan. It's hardly what you call the holiday of a lifetime, a key destination, is it? It's like if it was drop people off at this leisure spa and like they got the leisure spas and the bars and all the rest of it I'd say yeah that's worthwhile going what we're doing here well I certainly wouldn't be down Tui or Thomas Cook uh, looking to book one of these So here we go, is the lovely So This A5. 
I know, I haven't got electric bike. I have hot tub. Imagine all the water floating around. Okay, here we go. We're, we're coming into it now. We're really, uh... Dun dun dun. Scan away. Look at all these lovely big ships knocking about you. And there's gonna be somebody over there looking at doing a type six. Right. Let's scan the beacon. Jump out. Brill. We're now off to Back to Sios. And Brunel Hub, everybody. Woo, I hear you say. Yes, folks. It's so interesting. If it wasn't worth money, we certainly wouldn't be doing it. But like for, you know, commanders who were early on in the game. You know, it, it's a good earn. Now with an illegal passenger, this is where things get a little bit fruity. Oh, gliding in. Everything turned off. So we are currently on a cool 10.987 million. I think we'll say 11 million. And this is how it's at. This is Pants McGinty. Um, this is basically how it happens. I mean, you know, you see an awful lot of people putting videos up, make millions, and it is possible to make millions, but not when you're starting out. Is that a fair statement? I think it's a fair statement. And here's Brunel Hope, we're coming up on that. Lots of ships to scan in the area. I'm going to finish off my delivery missions after this and then get myself over to Rubigo and pick up more missions there because, you know, the Python can land at the station or the outpost, I should say. Here it is. We're coming up on it. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely, Steve. Right. And... Silent running. Because of our legal passenger. No, I just want to get in without denting the ship. There you go. And we're back in. Uh, what do you want? Pad 26. Where the hell's that gone? That's 21. Oh, I've only gone and flown past it, haven't I? Oh, God. 
Yeah, so there's one. There it is. All the other commanders laughing at me because. Right, we're lined up nice and gentle now. And we're down. Woohoo! Good grade four material to make alloys. Many. Temperance. Could have focus crystals. Money. <laughs> Mel White. Now he was the right pain, wasn't he? Divergent scan data. That's a good one. Money. And Shelton Bernard seeks a sightseeing adventure. I bet he does. Many. That didn't take long, did it? And that netted us a cool, I'm going to say, about 5.2 million. And it took, what, five minutes? You know, it's not bad money. See, it's not bad money. Um, what I'm going to do is get out and do those missions before I pick anybody else up. I'm not going to go back to this. I'm going to go to Rubigo Mines. So I'm going to go and do the um, the sew this stuff here and drop all that off. Nice being to a ship with a little bit of beef about it, you know. I do like the python. I really do like the python. Okay, moving on. Come on, let's go. Like I was saying, Steve, the carrier is great, right? It's great if you've got the money to keep it going. And it's certainly handy, jumping here, there, and everywhere. You say, right, I want 500 light year range. I want to be in that system. Go off, make a cup of tea, come back. You're there, you know? It certainly makes traversing around easier and having all your ships in one place. So I think it really is, you know, it is something. New home station. Perhaps you can pick up some better weapons. I don't like being exposed. There's a commander there, look. Running with no shields. Yeah, that's the, that's the good stuff, see, as well. i got to get some of that as well. Perhaps we'll do that next week. I keep remember doing my scanning as I'm on approach to these stations as well because this commander hasn't got 
the amount of data the other one has. Come on, new home station. Just taking its sweet time to get there, isn't it? I should have put that wake scanner back in, shouldn't I? That is, sit there, just start scanning wakes. Ah, that's a good idea, Steve. Yeah. I may well do that and transport this somewhere. Once I get some money. Pad number 23, everybody, that's what we want. There it is, you can see it right through the door. Hm. Yeah, it's a good way of doing it. Starport services. Let's drop whatever this is off. There's our mission board. Complete that mission. Right, what we got? Um, outfitting. So we got some decent guns here. Hard points. No. Well, that's just rubbish. That is just utter rubbish, isn't it? Let's stay on message. Do what we gotta do and get out. So, passenger missions here looking at from the where are we so this i think we are aren't we so this system if you look at these passenger missions obviously you haven't got the serious um atmospherics to do so they have you going all over the over the known galaxy uh which i'm not quite there for yet Right, look at this. Where's he going? Four million. Oh, I. And he wants to go 2,000 light years. No. You know, it is crazy. Hyperdated by a Thargoid. Enjoy it. Turn the volume up. Right, so what we're going to do everybody is we're going to get ourselves over to Rabigo. Let's get to the galaxy map. Well actually no we're not are we? Let's just make sure I've done all those 
I've still got transactions. Where's that for now? There, yes, I know it's there. Um, bloody so this mining. Let's get ourselves over there then. That'll take a while. Okay, meow. Just click the sunroof. That lovely python, all in white. Right, away we go. Take a little bit of time. And I've gone past it yet again. Doing three things at the same time. Let's get in there, drop this off. So hope you're all having a lovely relaxing Sunday evening before going back into work or whatever it is you're doing on Monday morning. If there's lag issues on YouTube, but also on Twitch. just dropping off these data missions to sow this mining and then it's off to Rabigo Mines Pad five, all lit up for us. down. <laughs> it's not a root of shame, it's a ring of glory. Yeah, I bet. Um, right, here we go. Sensitive data. Let's drop it off. We want the many. It's all about the Benjamins. There we go. Right. 
fab. So, there is the python. A passenger python. Yes, I did buy a skin for it, because why not? I do like the python. That's a good looking ship. I didn't go as far as to put any spoilers on it. Okay, now off to Rubigo Mines. We haven't got anything in it, fab. So the galaxy map, everybody. Rubigo. There it is. Fifty nine light years away. We got a full tank of gas. We don't smoke. <laughs> um, let's get ourselves over there. Tactical ice, it certainly is. And I think it looks fantastic. Between the white and the yellow um, skins, nothing quite like it. All right. Let's go, go, go. Three jumps. do is we'll start the clock as to how long it takes us to make how much money from Rubigo Mines. Okay, jump two. Scoop a little bit of fuel while we can. And there it is. Rabigo. Now if I was the unscrupulous commander, I'd be going after all these poor commanders, like what's his bollocks down there, give him a good pasting. But then again, I've hardly got the weapons for it, have I? You just know someone's going to have a go. Here we are. Rabigo Mines. There it is. Infamous. Back many years ago, there was a fantastic exploit or game glitch, right, in Rubigo Mines. You could buy slaves here at a low price, but you could sell them back at like an extortionate price. You were making thousands, hundreds of thousands for literally sitting on the landing pad. And it got everyone's attention. And a lot of people made a lot of money down here. And, you know, I'm talking, you know, millions upon millions upon million, billions even. 
and then Frontier got all, oh, you can't all do that, and fixed it. And quite rightly so. But that was Rubigo Mines. Slave trading in Rubigo Mines. And that was a good, oh, God, four years ago. So we're going to get ourselves in here. We're going to pick up some passenger missions. We're going to start a clock. Right. We're going to see how much money we've actually got. Let's the side of the planet. Here we go. There it is. Yes, folks, we're back. Rabigo Mines. That's the other flipping side of the bloody rings, isn't it? Shit. Oh dear. These things are sent to try us. Of course, Rubigo Mines, part of the Sirius Corporation. You can gander an awful lot of favour with Sirius Corp. Yes, folks. Old Rubigo Mines is somewhere down there on the other side of that ring. And I misjudged it. Because it's very silly. Yeah, we don't need orbit lines. Yeah, Michael Quent. There it is. Bit of a bigo. So how much money have we actually got then? Um... 15, 8, 1, 5, 9, 5, 1. Right? Okay. That's how much we have at the moment. So what I'm going to do, right, is... Here we are, Rubigo Mines. We're going to start off at the station. So it could be a scientific experiment, right? Or as scientific as we get on this channel. I mean, oh, every man is dog here, isn't he? And this is the problem playing in open. Old Commander Jiggy is sat on the bloody landing pad. So he's been spending money on paint packs as well. Look at that. Not like we're intimidating or anything, is it? You know what I mean?
How annoying is this? <laughs> so my discovery scanner. <laughs> Oh dear. Get off the pad. Oh, do me a favor. Oh, now someone else is coming in, is it? Oh, do you know what? <sighs> no messing about. How can we do something based on science? Right. Right, where is it? There it is. Let's get back over there. So I end up getting shot otherwise. Well, that's better, isn't it? Right then. So we're going to do it from this point. So we've landed. Or we're about to land. Right. Here we go. What time is it? I have got two minutes past eight. GMT. Right. Start the clock. So we've landed on Rubigo Mines. Fab. Into the passenger lounge. We've got 15,808,113 credits. Uh, one, one, three. Right. Okay. <clears throat> now we're coming on to it. Here's the serious atmospheric stuff. So, is somebody there? Look, old Leroy Fitzgerald. Um, accept that contract. You gotta have a good look round first, see? See, we've got um, exquisite focus crystals here as well, though. Three million. Pick a cabin. So, not, not, not bad so far. It's good money. Who have we got down here? These are all pretty weak. We're in here for two million. Pick a cabin. Uh, business. There you go. So we've got, that's the best one. Pick that cabin. Which are making pretty good, pretty good money so far by the look of it, right? So how are we doing? So then we go over here now. Check our cabins. We've got one business one not empty. But we are going to make a shitload of money. 
So, and we're certainly not taking anybody there. Let's just see what we got. Right, so we're done. Lovely. Let's just drop this off. Right, where are we on the cash front? 16, 4, 5, 3, 7, 9. Right, let's go. Everyone fair so far? I think that's pretty fair, isn't it? We've gone in, we found our missions, we landed, we found our missions, handed in our data. We've got an illegal passenger, so that's gonna be a bit funky. Navigation, over to the navigation map. Where are we going? All the way over to sew this. We know where we're going. Let's go. Oh, for God's sake. Right, three jumps. See you later, Rubigo Mines. So all that took four minutes. And I could have been quicker, but you know, you gotta think about being the average commander, right? Here we are, honk the horn, take on a little bit more fuel. Just skim it off the top. Next jump. Okay, here we go. Bit of scooping, it doesn't hurt, does it? And if I had a bit more forethought, I could have changed that class four fuel scoop out into a class three. Got some more passengers in, but you know, it is what it is, okay? So this. So here we are in system. Selected Sirius Atmospherics. Let's line up. So just to get to this station from Rubigo only took two minutes in the Python. Behold the python. It was worthwhile doing the information missions as well, right? Worthwhile doing those just to get that added favor. Dewey Danu. 
And here's Cobra Mark III. Oh, it's tidy, but look at that. So I'm coming in as fast as I possibly can to the serious atmospherics beacon. The holiday destination of choice for all those people in Sios and Rubigo. So we're up to eight minutes so far. Eight whole minutes. Bit of extra boost to get us there. It's a bit dodgy doing this, but everyone does it. Right, we're out. Scan the beacon. Let's start plotting our route back. Mission objective complete. There we are. There's Rabigo. There's our route. Warp we'll the engines. Let's not dally. That's nine minutes so far. Jumping away. That's the thing, Steve. You start engineering and spending some money on the big ships, you think, oh my god, I just got rid of basically half or three quarters of a billion. And you think, Good God. Because mining's not going to help you. Here we go again. Oh, I bet it was. Those not spots definitely were aptly named. Right, temperature's going down, we can jump. Good thing is, no Thargoids down here. Well, I've got a, t I've got a Type 10. I don't tend to use it because it is massive. Perhaps that'll be another project once I finally finish the Corvette. And there we go, we got people friend requests yes why not we had friends everywhere don't we on our way to Rubigo now, if you haven't got any cheeky monkeys going to be on the Rubigo's Mines pad, just sat there. I don't know what they're doing. Into Rubigo. Let's line ourselves up. Now, typically, the outposts don't scan you. The only way we're going to get scanned you is um, if the fuzz pull us out. And they could. And we're not quick enough on the old boost button.
Here we go. Good old Rubigo Mines. So it's now 14 minutes past 8, so this is, we're 12 minutes into this mission. And you're seeing it as I'm doing it, you know, it, there's no sleight of hand going on here. There's no sleight of hand like what you get around the kebab shop, where you say, I love that chicken kebab over there, it looks fantastic, doesn't it? On the, um, on the picture. And then Matey Peeps goes round and, um... There's his sleight of hand. And what you get in that kebab box is nowhere near what's on the picture. There it is. Yeah, I fancy a nice kebab. I've had a massive Sunday dinner. I've had a massive roast beef Sunday dinner. And it was beautiful. It really was. Hats off to uh, Mrs. Ricardo there. Even though I did most of the work. But um, it was really nice. We're going to shoot past this. Because of those rings. But this is an accurate, you know, experiment of how much you can make, right? When you're starting out on Rubigo Mines. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, come on. Right, that's the jump out point. There's the mines of Rubigo. Can I dock, please? Oh, here we go. Who's in here? Oh, I mean, I'm bloody... Old talk of the rogue, eh? Come on, bugger off. Hey, go on, get out of the way. There he is. Deadly, my ass. There we go. Request. Cool. Oh. And we're finally down. So that's 18 minutes past 16 minutes, right? We had a little bit of a hiccup there. Because some guy was on the landing pad. Into the passenger lounge. Going for the money. Going for the money. So have the money. Incoming message. 
Eh, eh, eh. Let's go for the money. Right, so we've gone for the money. Stop the clock. 8.19. So at 17 minutes real time, what are we on, what are we on now? So and as, as of that, that's 11 million virtually to the pound. There you have it, everybody. 11 million in 17 minutes. Would have probably been about 15 minutes if you were really on your game, right? So not bad. That's the experiment done. Right then. Let's get some people in. Of course, you can pick the big ones. Poppy pits. Yeah, come on, Poppy, pick your cabin. Old Poppy pits. One there for 1.9. Fair enough. One there for 1.7. Oh, there's one there for 2.8. What else we got? Now looks like we're gonna come up lacking with one cabin, business cabin at the bottom there. Look, oh, not full. But hey, what you do? That's eleven million. We're probably gonna get a little bit more this time. So what are we on? Not worried about the time now. We're on twenty-seven. Four three four point five, right? Let's go, go, go. No data to hand in. Launch away into navigation. To sew this. Ship released. Engines engaged. Landing gear retracted. Let's go, go, go. Sipping that fuel as we get around the around the sun. Temperatures coming down, jump away. And and that's the gag. I mean, it all depends. If you've got if you've got a big ship, what's a large landing pad, then you're doing the missions between so this and Seos. Um, takes doesn't take as long, but the rewards are not as good. The jumping only takes two minutes between. Rubigo and so this. So as a result, I think it's the more lucrative method. Rubigo mines to Sirius, Sirius atmospherics. Friendship 
And to be fair, to earn that mining, it's about level pegging, unless you're really lucky on the cores. That's what I would say. Lining up the Sirius again. Here we go. If we're talking McDonald's burgers, it's got to be the big tasty with bacon. Oh yes, that's the stuff. Although, like probably most McDonald's, it does look like it's been slapped together, so slapdash. It looks nothing like what the picture looks like. Tasty mind, but that's more to do with the big tasty sauce, I think. Okay, we don't want to shoot past this. In to scan the beacon. Nice and easy, and while they're doing that, we can go all the way back Mission objectives complete. and plot Rabigo. Boost and get out the way, and back to where we came. Okay, here we go. Slingshot round the sun, Star Trek style.
And the key to this is having, I think, an engineered FSD. Jump further. You know, that way then. I mean, I don't need a fuel scoop. I could now rip that out. It's not an issue. Get some more peeps in. Rebigo Mines. Rubigo Mines, we're now on 27 million. Not bad for a little bit of work, is it? Let's angle ourselves. where we think Rubigo Mines is going to be, on the bottom part of the planet. And then we'll see how much we've made this time. Might creep up it incrementally. We had a few good nearly 3 million passenger runs that we filled up on. Excellent. Can I dock, please? Nice one, Marcus. And we are down. What have we made this time? So we're currently on 27.434 million. We're going for the many, not all the messing about as well, mind. So old poppy pits. 
2.57. Have it. Serafina, 1.931. Jameson Woods, 1.7. Charlene Lowry, 2.828. And Yaritza Gutierrez. Just under a cool million. So, we're now on. Th we made 10 million. It's not bad starting out, is it? Really speaking. You know, it's not bad. Um, and it would seem nobody here now wants to go. <laughs> and you've got two million there, 800,000 there, and that's it. So people, that's what we're going to do. We worked out that it took approximately 17 minutes on our first run to make about 11.2 million. Um, not too shabby. That's there and back. Serious atmospherics. On the second run, we had 10 million. Now, what we could do here is log out, log back in again, and refresh the passenger lounge missions. Right? We could do that. Um, you know, but like on the main one, that nobody wants to go. Look, no one wants to go. No chance. Bloody Colonia. 47 million. No chance. I mean, who does that? I mean, you'd have to fly to your carrier, really, and then let the carrier jump you. Incidentally, how long have you got to do that? Three weeks. Four weeks. Interesting, isn't it? Think about filling up your Type 9s with... Um, with passengers, even though you can't land it here, right? And then buggering off to Colonia. A lot to be said about that, isn't it, really? Um, so nothing to do there. Two million there. 800,000 there. It's not worth it. So I'm going to knock it on the head tonight. It's getting late, see? I want to go on and watch House of Cards on Netflix. Uh, I do like House of Cards at the moment. So thanks very much for, for the stream. We'll be back streaming um, Saturday and Sunday next week. Of course, the rugby is on, so we've got to fit in with the Six Nations schedule. This shouldn't be too much of a hassle because Wales only play once. We're not interested in any other nation. Um, no worries, mate. Cheers, Steve. So what we're going to do is, like I say, knock it on the head there. Video coming out tomorrow. Um, and that video, I have no idea what it's all about, actually. Tomorrow's video is going to be all about... Scheduled. The Thargoid structure. I did um, a specific video all about that. Please show your support there uh, and what we found inside the Thargoid structure. About a 14-minute video, so it's not so bad. Would really appreciate your support there as well. So if you haven't done so, and I know a lot of you have, like and subscribe. And for the person who donated five whole British pounds, thank you very much. That will go a long way. It is appreciated as well. So thanks, everybody. Have a nice remainder of your Sunday evening. Stay safe. And we'll speak to you all soon. Don't forget, we're going to have the Discord as well. And... Um, if you need anything, give me a give me a shout on there. Catch you later.